So in this course, we'll try to learn about Apache Hadoop as well as also its cloud-based deployment model, which is Amazon EMR framework. As you can see that uh, the startup for this course will be to talk about the distributed computing domain, some of its limitation, the growing need of data that we have these days, the type of complexities which are coming in with the, the way the data is growing and all, and how Hadoop as a framework acts you or gives you an alternative to solve this type of problem. We'll also have to understand that Hadoop is not the silver bullet for all your issues related to large-scale data processing. So that's one of our, of our rational that when we do that analysis, we try to see what fits as an ideal use case for a Hadoop-based solution and in what situations, even though you have a complex analysis to do, Hadoop may not be of help and where you can still use your traditional approaches with some minor tweaking and all. So with that, we'll start uh, dwelling ourselves more deep into Hadoop architecture. That's where the low-level complexities of Hadoop as a framework comes into picture. And when we study that, we'll see that Hadoop is nothing but a collection of different processes running together. And that's where your name node, data node, secondary name node, job tracker, and task tracker comes into picture. We will see throughout this course what's the role of these key processes, how the communication between them takes place, what are their configuration option and what are what is the overall capability that they provide when they work in an integrated model so that's a, a very important thing that we need to look at when we understand Hadoop the other important part once we have done with the basic architecture and again at that time we should we will be installing it parallel so in a while we'll discuss about all the practicals exercises our programming environment and all that things that whole stack needs to be discussed but yeah HDFS being the uh, major part of your Hadoop as you will see that there are two major components of Hadoop one is your HDFS and one is your MapReduce HDFS is where your storage comes into picture MapReduce is the capability where your analytics comes into picture and it is these two uh, thing uh, which together forms the big uh, Hadoop bundle there are many other ecosystem projects which uh, are there, things like Hive, Pig, HPACE, all those things which you might have heard about. So that's, that's something which is a, a different topic that we'll cover, but our focus will first be to understand from the very basic what is Hadoop, what is its core underlying uh, facts like HDFS as well as MapReduce framework. So you do see that there are a good amount of HDFS <laughs> related details uh, which are available. So we'll talk about the distributed Hadoop distributed file system, the replication strategy, storage strategy, retrieval strategy as well as also the the practicals around HDFS commands and all. So you will see that HDFS is primarily a Linux inspired uh, distributed file system. So we'll try to learn those commands and see how you interact with the basic file system. MapReduce framework will be the next in line once we have seen how to store data. The next obvious thing that comes in mind is how you will analyze the data. And that's when uh, the MapReduce framework comes in. It's the programming framework which gives you the ability to write your logic, write your uh, pseudocode or logic in whatever language you wish for. Most uh, commonly in Hadoop, you will go for Java because that's how Hadoop is written and that's uh, something which is off the shelf provided. But you do have alternatives as we'll see later to use the other alternate options to write your MapReduce jobs. But at MapReduce level, this will be our key topic to <laughs> understand MapReduce programs, uh, the different components that MapReduce has, writable, write comparable, input output format, and all that things. So this is something uh, which we'll be trying to understand. A lot of different exercises needs to be done there. So word count, distributed search, sorting, log analysis, and many mathematical uh, examples also we'll be trying to see. Now once again, one thing which I like to set here is that Hadoop MapReduce will not give you algorithms to solve or it cannot solve 
or write logic for you. So you still have to write logic through different different channels. What Hadoop MapReduce gives you is a capability to run your logic in a distributed parallel processing manner. So that's the distinction we'll try to see. We'll see, we'll take important use cases like searching, sorting, uh, doing some mathematical analysis and we'll see that how you can uh, write your code in the map and reduce manner so that uh, once you give it to a Hadoop based framework it will be executed as a uh, as a map reduce framework so that's something the design and the execution part is what we'll see as well as also low level configuration tuning, performance uh, analysis things those are a part of that discussion when we reach to Hadoop streaming level by that time we will have a thorough understanding of HDFS as a framework or a HDFS as well as the map reduce part and in Hadoop streaming we'll try to see the option of how you can use other languages if not Java because Java is the primary choice since Hadoop is written entirely in Java but at Hadoop streaming level you will see that uh, uh, there are many other ways by which you can write your logic and that's where Python, uh, Ruby, even C Sharp, Microsoft based technologies options comes into picture so that will be the topic uh, where we do our hands on and we understand how you use Hadoop streaming as a option to start up or uh, use as an alternative to your map reduce. The second big part of this course will focus around the ecosystem projects and uh, the key component being Apache, Apache Pig that's where we'll start with a very uh, I'll say strong workflow language which has been written from Yahoo Labs and which acts as a key replacement for your MapReduce uh, option in Java. So we'll try to learn PIG, we'll go through the installation, understanding the PIG grunt shell as well as learning the PIG Latin shell commands and we'll try to see that how it works with the Hadoop infrastructure in place and do some common examples on it. So that, that all will be covered. So we'll learn uh, PIG to a good extent so that you can see that as a viable alternative and have that skill set as well in your uh, training part. The next in line will be Apache HBase. Now that is a well-known NoSQL uh, database that's there in the industry and typically it is called as the database for Hadoop. So we'll try to understand first the NoSQL industry but once again we'll not try to go into NoSQL because that will be a totally tangent thing but since it has some overlap with uh, HBase so we'll try to understand some basic features of what constitutes a NoSQL uh, database, how is it different from RDBMS, how HBase offers as an alternate uh, choice for us to store our data and how it interacts with so basic installation of HBase, commands practice and some common Java based programs is what we'll be covering as part of our HBase uh, discussion. The next uh, important topic from an ecosystem perspective will be Apache Hive. Now this is something where data warehousing and database folks have their key advantage in. So we try to understand Hive as an alternate option and learn about HiveQL which is again an alternative for your for writing your MapReduce jobs. We'll try to understand how to install Hive, how to create tables, run some basic HiveQL commands and how to integrate with Hadoop as well as also its JDBC based uh, interaction. So at all points when we are going through it you will see that you will have a good focus on both the developer as well as the admin part. We don't try to distinguish between uh, that uh, this is all developer and this is all admin. Because I personally feel that Hadoop being sting in an evolving phase you need to know both and then depending upon your skill set you can always put your priorities that okay this is the domain for me to uh, cement my uh, knowledge and let me focus more on it but at least you should have a whole picture of what this whole framework constitute of and that gives you a good background as well as talking point when you are in different discussions related to Hadoop. So we cover both as much as possible on all. Uh, we also have, uh, this is something unique to this course that we do touch the cloud based deployment model also. So Amazon web service model, most of us know that that's a cloud based service which Amazon offers. 
and literally everything uh, anything that you have these days in terms of software and hardware is offered there in a cloud model you'll see that how your Hadoop based offering helps that particular thing and there we'll be learning the EC2 S3 as well as the map reduce model so these two these are the different components we'll introduce ourselves we'll do some hands-on to see that if you're looking for something in a cloud itself maybe as a startup POC or because of uh, the cost that is involved to make a cluster in-house how you can leverage Amazon MapReduce EMR model as a viable choice so that's where we'll have some good discussion around cloud what benefits it gives what are some of the uh, the limitations that we have and when to take both that call whether to go with an in-house data center based Hadoop installation or cluster setup or to go with a cloud-based uh, usage. Yep. So towards the end of our course, we'll talk about the infrastructure, hardware, uh, the scales of the cluster, and the different networking and uh, disaster recovery and those type of things that given a real-time environment setup, what are some of the common things in terms of performance training both at hardware level as well as software level will be necessary. So that's something which constitute that part. Uh, we'll also have a discussion around the different vendor uh, products which are available around Hadoop uh, as well as also the competitive options uh, that we see in the market, which uh, solutions which compete with Hadoop. So this is what uh, we'll be covering as part of our Hadoop uh, training. As you can see that it does not cover all the ecosystem because again to reach out to any tangible thing I firmly believe that we need to limit and we need to be precise in terms of what we are trying to achieve. These, these are the components which are most majorly used in the market and from there on you will definitely be in a good uh, understanding level to take it to the next level depending upon your expertise and the uh, choice of domain which you would like to move in. For our practicals, we'll be using a Oracle Virtual Box Manager product. This is something which I'll be sharing with you people. This is a virtual machine which is already configured. So, and we'll go through the installation and all. So you don't have a remote based thing here where you just will be able to practice only till the duration of the training. This virtual machine will be given to you. As you can see that, I'll just show you. So we have around 3.8 GB. This is the virtual machine I'll be sharing with you through the G drive. Once we have the confirmation done, you download this virtual machine. It has basic Linux and Java installed in it. And that's something which you use to configure and do the exercises. Those of you who already are into networking and those who have their own VMs and all already there, like many of you are already into Linux or you might have a Linux based setup done Ubuntu, CentOS, any VM that you have or you might be using VM player, VMware and all those things. So that also is encouraging. If you already have that thing, keep it there or make sure that you have Java and SSH installed and that is the basic with which we'll start with. So that's the bare minimum that is required, Java 1.6 and SSH enabled. No other thing is required so we can then move it from there on. In terms of the course content, I showed you the different topics that we are going to cover and again we do encourage participation so one thing that I'll, I'll expect is that try to attend all the sessions in person as much as possible so that you go in from the discussion. We'll have different set of skill sets, people joining in and it always makes a good sense when you are a part of the discussion you get to know many different things but on a need to need basis we have uh, recordings also available for some uh, exercises uh, and all. But yeah, from a material perspective, you will have for each of this, like for HDFS and all, you will be getting all these materials. Uh, all the exercises are already prefixed with exercise sessions. We get good detail as well as all the theoretical classes. So these are pretty good detail level exercises that you'll see, which talks about at each level uh, a good amount of detail so we do some of these exercises some, and then you do parallelly as a assignment many other exercises 
important configuration files there setting we do share it all itself the installation level details a single cluster we will be practicing it through a quasi cluster mode wherein we'll have a single virtual machine and we'll install hadoop but we do discuss about the multi cluster stuff that is available as well as the different processes and all that needs to be analyzed map reduce will be one of the key topics that we'll be <laughs> trying to cement on so about 8 to 10 different exercises in all possible combinations and a fairly good low level discussion you can see for understanding map reduce we try to keep it mostly practical so that you do the hands on and then understand as well as uh, again as you can see all these different different exercises you'll be finding good level of options coming in so be it uh, even the counter example uh, again these are just something which you will be receiving in advance itself when uh, you when we start up this course itself so we'll have a good amount of these exercises and all these are configured and the same applies to all other things also for streaming you have the presentation and about these exercises so about 30 to 35 different or I think it's more than about 50 itself and I keep extending this material itself since in my role uh, as a full-time lead Hadoop architect there are a lot of uh, experiments that we do on a day-to-day -day basis so if I come across some good article assignments I do try to document it and share it with uh, the folks in training as well as the other people itself there and you can connect me through different forums and all but yeah that's something uh, which we do as part of our training but all these materials is something which will be shared with you in cloud model also we talk about uh, how you can go and ask for a pre-built Hadoop box as well as if given a raw box in cloud how you can go and set up in an Amazon model how you can set up your own Hadoop based environment itself so at least this has helped in the past people coming with different different background and priorities to get the detail around its own similar is that ecosystem level Apache Pig you do <laughs> one discussion and mostly its exercises as you can see at any level commercial things installation all of this is documented and offered at a low level so you'll get a good amount of detail at each and every level so data center discussion this is where we practice the hardware aspects big data industry the way it comes in so whatever that has been discussed as a part of the course is available here and uh, as I say that as we keep making more materials as I uh, keep sharing it but all of this things will be shared once we kick start the course and when we are trying to complete the different topics and all with that one we'll try to kick start at least the basic introduction session and as I said that this session will be uh, continuing so this is a demo come continuous in session many of you have already attended this sim many of you are attending it for the first time so I'll, I'll feel encouraged if you really ask uh, any relevant questions that you, you might have but we will be meeting continuously at uh, from weekdays as I said that uh, 8 30 Eastern time will meet Monday to Friday 8 30 and we target to cover it around 35 to 36 hour course duration and yep yeah, so that's where we go ahead with